we all are aware about the term plagiarism we have gone through its various dimensions the ways to identify plagiarism what are the characteristics of plagiarism how we can avoid plagiarism and what is the role and responsibilities of different institutions agencies for avoiding plagiarism because plagiarism is a serious academic cheating we all agree to it in india to bring the universal laws and regulations against plagiarism university grants commission in 2018 introduced the regulations naming university grants commission promotion of academic integrity and prevention of plagiarism in higher education institutions regulation 2018 which we generally call as ugc regulations against plagiarism as an academician as a research supervisor as well as as a research student we all need to learn and know about these regulations that what is there in these regulations what is the role and responsibilities of different institutions as well as individual and how we can prevent plagiarism in indian academia if you read the notification first you will come through its objectives and in the objectives it has been written that these regulations are here to increase the awareness about responsible conduct of research and academic activities to promote the academic integrity and to prevent plagiarism the regulations also aims to establish an institutional mechanism through education and training to facilitate responsible conduct of research and academic activities the regulations also aims to develop a system to detect plagiarism and to set up mechanisms to prevent plagiarism and to punish a student faculty or staff of higher education institution committing the act of plagiarism so these regulations are prescriptive as well as preventive in nature we can say the regulations starts with the duties of higher education institutions what are the common duties or the important duties of hiis start awareness program and training program on plagiarism curb plagiarism so how we can start awareness program and training the regulations say that higher education institutions shall instruct the students faculty researcher and staff about the proper attribution seeking permission of the author wherever necessary and acknowledgement of the source why is it important because plagiarism is citing someone else works as your own without giving proper acknowledgement to that person so how to give proper acknowledgement how to give proper attribution and if some copyrighted material you are using and the author has written that you seek or you required certain permission of the author to use it in your publication in your work then what is the correct way to take the permission this also should be the part of training the regulations believe that higher education institutions self conduct sensitization seminars awareness programs on responsible conduct of research they should include the cardinal principles of academic integrity in the curriculum of undergraduate postgraduate and master degree program as a compulsory course work or module in many pg programs in university system research methodology is a core course or if not a course it is a part of their dissertation work or it is a part of pre phd course work or it is a part of pre mphil course work in that the plagiarism and avoiding plagiarism should be placed as important part of that curriculum it is also suggested that institutions can include the elements of responsible conduct of research and publication ethics as compulsory course work or module for master degree programs as well as for research scholars doing mphil phd or postdoc the regulations further ask higher education institutions to include the responsible 
to include the elements of responsible conduct of research and publication ethics in the orientation and refresher programs which are being organized for faculty and staff members and to train the students faculty and researcher for using plagiarism detection tool and reference management tools these regulations believe that higher education institutions should establish the facilities equipped with the modern technologies to detect the plagiarism means they are talking about availability of software for detection of the plagiarism whether it is supplied by the government of india or ugc or it is being purchased by higher education institution on its own higher education institutions should also encourage the students and faculty and researcher staff to register on international researcher registry system so that their originality can be sustained and established whenever they are publishing their work or they are sharing their work how we can curb plagiarism for curbing plagiarism it is believed that technology based mechanism using appropriate software is a best tool to ensure plagiarism free work at the time of submission so when a student is submitting his or her assignment or research work or dissertation or a research paper the plagiarism should be checked by using a software this mechanism shall be made available to all the engaged research people like the student faculty researcher and staff and every student in the higher education institution self submit an undertaking indicating that whatever they are submitting it is their original work and it is free of any plagiarism while they are submitting their academic work every institution should develop a policy on plagiarism and get it approved by its relevant statutory bodies and authorities and a supervisor will also submit a certificate indicating that the work done by the researcher under him or her is plagiarism free so curbing plagiarism is the responsibility of the researcher as well as of the supervisor and both are equally responsible if some plagiarism is found in a published or submitted work it is also suggested that once a research program or research work is awarded as a degree at the master and research direct phd label institutions should submit a soft copy of the research work to the inflibnet in the sodh ganga e repository so that students are aware that what work has already been done and they should not repeat the same work even for the master level dissertations some projects reports term papers or other publications it is suggested that higher education institutions shall create an institutional repository also on their institutional website if they are not sharing everything with the inflibnet but when we go for plagiarism check many times few among us may be get confused that what should be submitted for plagiarism check in and what can be excluded so the similarity check for a plagiarism shall exclude all the quoted works reproduced with all necessary permission and attribution all references bibliography table of content preface and acknowledgement pages all generic term laws standard symbols and standard equations all these things can be excluded please note that the research work carried out by the student faculty research or staff should be based on the original ideas when you are submitting the abstract the summary the hypothesis the observation the result the conclusion the recommendation should not have any similarity a common knowledge or coincidental term can be excluded up to 14 consecutive words which is written in the ugc regulations that up to 14 consecutive words a common language or coincidental term can be excluded from plagiarism then what should be checked under plagiarism dissertations master degree dissertations thesis whether it is phd thesis or it is post doctoral thesis chapters in the book if you are writing a book and you are submitting a chapter through a book that should also be tested for plagiarism full fledged book complete book research papers any other similar work which you are submitting for publication even on some websites it should be checked for plagiarism 
what should be exempted from plagiarism assignments if the institution is small and you want to create a good practice or good honest practices among the students my suggestion is that even you can start checking plagiarism at assignment level but if it is not possible and institutional mechanism is not there assignments can be excluded answer scripts can be excluded term papers can be excluded essays can be excluded course works can be excluded and project reports can be excluded if the mechanism is not at a place but if mechanism has been placed my suggestion will be that you all should check each and everything here comes the labels of plagiarism a unique classification has been proposed in ugc regulations for labels of plagiarism that is label 1 label 0 label 1 label 2 label 3 level 0 is the similarity up to 10% level 1 is similarity up to 10 to 40% level 2 is similarity is up to 60% and level 3 is similarity above 60% how you will ensure that things are going well and there is no plagiarism for that ugc regulations have suggested that to handle plagiarism there some committees should be framed in higher education institutions two types of committee has been proposed one is departmental academic integrity panel which should ensure the plagiarism free research work and academic integrity up to the departmental level and at a larger level and institutional academic integrity panel iaip can also be established so daip can submit its report to a iaip and iaip will go ahead with the norms which has been established by the institution let us first discuss what are the duties of departmental level of academic integrity panel this panel may consist of three members the head of the institution the research the research faculty or the senior faculty who is going through the research work as well as some external member can also be member if, if not then at least the head of the department the senior most faculty or a professor and a researcher should be the part of daip it shall have the powers to assess the level of plagiarism and recommend the penalty or penalties accordingly but while making or taking any decision about the allegation of plagiarism the daip should follow the principles of natural justice against the student faculty researcher and staff the daip shall stand to report after investigation and the recommendation on the penalties to be imposed to the iaip institutional academic integrity panel which will decide about the penalties within a period of 45 days from the date of complaint then the complaint will go to iaip or institutional academic integrity panel the academic integrity panel as institutional level will consider the recommendations of daip they can also investigate the case of plagiarism if there is some confusion or some issues associated to it the iaip will also follow the principles of natural justice while deciding about the plagiarism against a student faculty researcher or a staff in higher education institutions the institutional academic integrity panel will also have the power to review the recommendations of daip including the penalties with the due justification they shall stand the report after investigation and recommendation on penalties be imposed to the head of the higher education institution within a period of 45 days from the date of complaint this panel shall also provide a copy of the report to the person against whom a inquiry report is submitted to the head of the institution what are the penalties because plagiarism can be done at the level of the student or at the level of the faculty so there are certain penalties which have been suggested in ugc regulations at the student level what are these penalties if the similarity is up to 10% it may be considered as minor similarity and no penalty can be imposed if the similarity is above 10% and up to 40% that is level 1 the student will be asked to submit the revised script after a stipulated time period may be up to the 6 month so you will return the work submitted by the student a student will revise it rework on it and submit the revised script within the 6 month the second level of plagiarism is when the similarity is above 40% such students can be debarred from submitting a revised script for a period of 1 year so the delay penalty is there that they will not be able to submit their revised script up to 1 year which will ultimately enhance the duration of their degree 
if the similarity is above 60 percent even if you found or the committee found that it is a very serious type of plagiarism such a student's registration from the program can be cancelled here is it is very important to note if penalty in case where the degree and credit has already been obtained is to be given if plagiarism is proved after the date of award the degree or credit then the degree and the credit shall be put on abeyance for a period recommended by IAIP and it should also be improved by the head of the institution. What are the penalties in case of plagiarism in academic and research publications in case of faculty? In case of faculty, if similarity is up to 10%, it will be considered as minor similarity, no penalty is imposed. If it is between 10 to 40%, that is label 1, they shall be asked to withdraw the manuscript, rework on it and submit later. If the similarity is from 40 to 60 percent, they shall be asked to withdraw the script. They may be detained or write off at least one annual increment in their salary. They may not be allowed to be a supervisor for a period of two years. If the similarity is above 60 percent, that is level 3, they shall be asked to withdraw the manuscript. They will be denied a write off two successive annual increment and they shall not be allowed to be a supervisor for a period of two years. So, for supervisors also it is the responsibility to ensure that the work which is being submitted under them is plagiarism free. If someone is repeating the plagiarism, in case when the plagiarism at the highest level is committed then the punishment for the same shall be operative. If the case level 3 offence is repeated then the disciplinary action including the suspension and termination as per the service rules can be taken by the higher education institutions. Penalty in case where the benefit or credit has already been obtained. If plagiarism is proved on a date later than the date of the benefit or credit obtained as a case, maybe then his or her benefit or credit shall be put on ambience for a period recommended by the institutional academic integrity panel and approved by the head of the institution. All higher education institutions should create a mechanism so that they can ensure that each of the paper, publication, thesis and dissertation submitted by the student, faculty, researcher or staff is checked for plagiarism before forwarding or submission. If there is any complaint on plagiarism against the head of the higher education institution, a suitable action in line to the UGC regulations can be taken by the controlling authority of that institution. If there is any complaint against the head of the department or authorities which are the part of institutional level integrity panel, a suitable action in the line can be recommended by the IAIP and it can be approved by the competent authority. If there is any complaint of plagiarism against the member of DAIP or IAIP, then such member shall excuse himself or herself from the meeting where his or her case is being discussed or investigated. So I think if you read the UGC regulations in details, you will find that they are very fine tuned regulations. A lot has been written as a responsibility of higher education institutions as well as what is the responsibility of yourself as a researcher, what is your responsibility as a supervisor, what is your responsibility as a guide, everything has been detailed out in these regulations. And if we follow these regulations, we can pledge for making a plagiarism free research ecosystem in our institution and in our country. And I hope that this discussion will help you to develop a better understanding about the UGC regulations for curbing plagiarism in India and we all will contribute equally to make the academia plagiarism free and academic integrity can be restored in the research environment of the country. Thank you very much.